Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the uh, Resavers mod. Um, this came out a little while ago. To be honest, I didn't know about it until a couple of people on uh, my videos were commenting that I should make a video on Resavers. So um, that was over the Christmas period. Things were a, were a little bit hectic for me. Um, but now it's settled down. Um, I've had to play about with it. Um, so I thought I'd make this quick guide just sort of showing you what it is and where to get everything and stuff like that. Um, so the first thing you want to do, uh, you need to go to the Beat Leader Patron, because um, at the moment this is uh, kind of like a paid mod, so you have to sub the, the basic tier for £3 a month, well £3 here in the UK, um, and then you can download Resabers, um, but then you can always unsubscribe, you know, once you've got the mod. Um, anyway, once you've got that, um, I'll just show you one other thing. Uh, because the mod does come with like a few basic saber presets, so there's like fiery ones, ice ones, uh, like a nebula, um, like some basic sabers and stuff like that. Um, but if you come over to the Beat Leader Discord, um, there's this resabers presets, and then you can download these um, and load them into the game. Um, I think you do have to be careful because some of these are for PC. Um, because Resabers was originally a PC mod, but it's now been uh, adapted for Quest. Um, but if you click on these, uh, you will see like the uh, QMod files. So that's the file you want to download. Um, I've just installed one of those, but I haven't checked yet to see if it's working. Uh, so you would basically copy it over the same as you would any other mod file into BMBF, um, just copying it on your PC when it's connected. Uh, so anyway, let's jump in now. We'll see if that file has actually added those new sabers uh, and we'll look at just the menus and everything and how it kind of all works. Okay, so here we are in the Quest 2. Um, I still don't have a Quest 3 at the moment, by the way. Um, I'm waiting for some uh, new things to come out for that before I bother buying one. Um, but anyway, uh, the first thing you'll notice is not over here on the mods list. Uh, so you need to go into where you would like go to a song uh, and then go to the mods tab and then you'll see resabers. Um, so then we've got settings, sabers and reload here. Um, so if you go to sabers, uh, at the moment there's just uh, two plus signs on left and right. Uh, so what you would then do is add uh, a left and select your preset uh, and you can see the saber there next to giving you a, an idea. Alternatively, what you can do is on the settings, uh, just turn them on so they're showing menu and you can actually see, you know, the saber. I think this is better to sort of get a proper view of it to see what it looks like. Um, so if we go back to sabers, so we've got Basic low, blizzard, uh, and also there's these high and ultra. I believe that's like the quality of it basically, so you might get a bit more lag with um, maybe ultra. See there, it seems a bit laggy, um, but I am recording. I tried this without recording video and these seem pretty smooth, so, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, so there's high, ultra, inferno, which is like flame. Inferno Ultra, then we've got Legacy, uh, then we've got Nebula, this one's really laggy, this was laggy without me recording. Uh, then Spark Cut, I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing maybe it's a spark when you cut the block. Uh, and then this is just a trail, there's no saber showing there. Um, and this is the one I just added uh, to test out, so yeah, you do in fact just download the QMAD file and copy them over in BMBF. Uh, and it loads them straight in here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then all you would do is, let's change this back to, I don't know, I quite like the Inferno one. You would apply that, and then you would do the same again for the right hand. Uh, so we've got Inferno High. There we go. A little bit laggy, but that's just because I'm recording. Um, I tested these out in gameplay as well, and things were still perfectly smooth. Um, just to get rid of this one. Um, so next you can go to uh, color mode, 
So there's hue override, so you can just change the color. Another weird thing, it goes behind the menu, which is kind of confusing, but yeah. Um, you can change the color, whatever you like. Uh, then there's hue shift. I don't really know what this does, but maybe when you're playing it, it sort of slowly shifts through the different hues. Um, or there's notes color. I think, honestly, like I think all the colors look good, but I think notes color is the most obvious choice because it will then match the note colors. Um, but obviously you can mess about with whatever you like. Uh, and then the other one is the trail length. Um, I haven't noticed any difference with this, but yeah, trail length, particle count, and the motion blur. Um, I can't notice any difference with these, but maybe when you're playing you'll notice. Um, and then, honestly, that's about it. That's it, It's not too complex once you've messed about with this. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you add them in, and then, yeah, I've, I've I've played with them, they're fine, everything's totally smooth. I'm hoping maybe this might be a little bit more stable than using cosmetics, um, because I've noticed sometimes in the past using cosmetics uh, can make things crash, um, but these seem a lot more lightweight, I don't know, because uh, I've, I've got some cosmetic savers as well that kind of lag things up. Um, one thing I will mention, when you first load this up, let me just disable that, um, it makes your, get rid of it. it makes everything invisible, like your sabers, so in menu there there's no, there's no sabers loaded, so you can't see any sabers. But I, I had cosmetics running, and then I loaded this on to sort of try it a later day, and then I kind of forgot that I put resabers on, and I couldn't tell why my sabers were invisible, and I couldn't see any of my cosmetics sabers. And I was messing about for ages until I realized I'd installed resabers a, a few days before, and finding the menu as well, um, it's, not in with, it's not in with mods here. Uh, so yeah, you have to go, not on the first page, but onto like you're actually going to play a map and then go to resavers and then turn them on. And even if you've t en en like disenabled this, it re-enables itself every single time. So um, yeah, just if, if, you lo if you've loaded this on and you wonder why you can't see your cosmetic sa savers, that's the reason. Um, but I think once you've loaded some of these in... Um, it should just stay then. Uh, so we've got Blizzard High, Blizzard High. Yeah. So that's basically it. I'm not going to go into too much more detail because you've seen pretty much everything now. So hopefully that was helpful to people. Uh, and yeah, you enjoy messing about with some resavers. Um, yeah, thank you.